Okay, we're videotaping the demo of our uh, application that measures height, age, and gender. Uh, right now, Andy's standing in front of the demo, and the system finds his face and facial features, and we're predicting that his height is 5'9", and that he is 4 feet 7 inches from the, from the camera. So his actual height is about 5'10", so right now we're under-predicting his height by about an inch. So if you just move forward and backward, and we'll see how that... Okay, so he moves forward, we're still at about 5'10", and take a few steps backward, and now we're still at 5'9". So, we, uh, so we're robust to uh, distance because we use a calibrated camera uh, to measure vectors from the camera out into 3D space and then using anthropometric distributions we can estimate distance from the camera and then since we know the floor equation we can figure out how tall somebody is. So I'm going to stand in front of the camera too and I am six foot four and right now this says six three. As I move forward we say six three and as I back up we're six two six three um, so we're still fairly accurate no matter where we stand. If I take a step to the side, uh, we're still about 6'4". So that's the demo we have. It's a live demonstration of our ability to measure um, height, age, and gender. By the way, the gender is shown color-coded. It's blue for male. The facial features are overlaid over the image in blue if we think it's a male. And the bar beneath the image is our age estimate. So Andy's getting four bars or five bars right now. So that's um, indicates in our system that it's an adult. If he had only one or two, then that would be a child. That's the end of the demo.